gang violence could occur, it required a support system. We had three. They left here, one without a t-shirt, and the others full of buckshot. <laughs> and we have the t-shirt to prove it. Really? Oh yeah. What happened? We shot him. What happens in other parts of this state, I don't know about. But over we don't here, care about. This but is in this our neighborhood, we take care of our own. We sent them back into wherever they came from and said, don't come back. The attack on Donnell Harrington is one instance of an unprovoked mob attack in Katrina's aftermath. Another three separate shootings resulting in four deaths and multiple injuries would be perpetrated by a much larger criminal enterprise than the racist mob in Algiers Point. These crimes are perpetrated by gangs not only monetarily compensated for their actions, but also armed and trained in the name of society at large. This gang wields so much unchecked power that their actions are automatically deemed justified up to and beyond the point that their own system deems them guilty of wrongdoing. This video obtained by the I-Team is now in the hands of the FBI as part of its investigation into the New Orleans Police Department involving a death in the days following Hurricane Katrina. Henry Glover was a guy from the Algiers section of New Orleans. On September 2nd, he was shot by a New Orleans police officer. And a guy named William Tanner rescued him after he'd been shot. Me, his brother, and his brother-in-law rushed to Haven School. When we got to the area of the school, his brother was yelling out, I need medical attention. My brother got shot. I had five laser sighting guns pointed to my window. The cops asked me to get out of the car, but not in that tone of voice. They kicked me two times in the um, side of my stomach, my ribs that hit me with M16 rifle on the side of my face. The same cop that hit me with the rifle had took off in the car with two flares in his pocket. And I told his brother I wouldn't see that car no more. I had told Homeland Security guy about the story and he verified I was telling the truth. And November the 3rd, he told me where my car was at on Richmond Street behind the 4th District Police Station.